Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. We're going to talk about sketch fillets today. Sketch fillets are very useful, very easy to use. They have some limitations, but overall, nice. Let me just show you a little bit about sketch fillets. Let me just get a, a rectangle here, and I'll just put a rectangle on there, and don't care what the size is right at the moment. I'll get a, a sketch fillet. Now, there are three ways to apply sketch fillets. I can pick a line and a line, and let's make that a little bit bigger so we can see it. Yeah, there we go, maybe half an inch. Or I can pick a vertex, like that. Or I can just window around the vertices that I want to apply the fillets to and say, okay, thank you very much. Now, I've got to dismiss this box or go get another tool before I can do anything else because it's not going to let me do anything until I do that. I got the green check mark over here on the right. I've got green check mark over here, so I'm good to go. That's just real quick what's going on. Now, if you notice here, my corners are gone. Uh-oh. Let me undo this, get rid of my fillets, and let me do this again. Let me put sketch dimensions on here. Let's just make that three, and uh, we'll make that five. Now, this is fully constrained. Now, when I do sketch fillets, now this time, I'm just going to window around the whole world, okay? And put them on all the corners at once. Now, notice what it did. It put a corner in here that I can dimension to, and a corner over here, and a corner over here. Well, there's already one there because that was the origin. It just didn't put one here. Now, there'll be another video that talks about these. These are called virtual sharps, okay? So I'll let that ride uh, for right now, and I'll do another video on just virtual sharps. Go to another model. Now, sometimes you got a very busy model with a lot of dimensions, and the, the dimensions are just right in the way. So if I go up here, I can go to View Sketch Dimensions. Now, not everybody has this. I can put this tool up here on my toolbar. I can search for it up here uh, in Search Commands. You sketch dimensions right there and I can grab that and just drag that right off of there and put it on my toolbar or I can go down here and find my sketch dimensions view sketch dimensions right here and just turn it off following up with what I just showed you I got a whole bunch of little vertices here so if I just window around the entire world I get them all at once well maybe that's not quite big enough and I need to make those just a little bit bigger, about as big as it's going to go without conflicts. So I put them all on in one quick step. Now, with doing all of these, you got to be aware of the limitations here on these little short edges and things like that. So you need to pay attention to those kind of things. All right. Now, because this was fully constrained, it put my virtual sharps in here for me, inside and out, as if those things were still sharp corners. Left one out here and again another video will show about how that works. Now let's look at something else that's kind of neat that the fillet command will do. If I get the fillet command and I pick these lines, whichever, and make this bigger, and then the boss says, oh well, you know, what I want you to do is I want this fillet to come way up here near the this vertex. Maybe not touch it, but you know we're doing consumer products here so I need this thing to be bigger. So if I hover over that yellow line, it turns a little bit darker yellow, and I can just click and drag that till I get where I'm going. Well, maybe about right there. I can look over here and say, okay, that's uh, 0.725, maybe 0.7. My machinist is happier when I have a nice round number. A little intro to sketch fillets. Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.